Prime time. Do our undercoat. All right. So we are going to f find ourselves something that is uh, good for doing priming. It has a lot of names. Oh yeah. I want to touch on this. Uh, when I use rattle cans, uh, I use the cit Citadel ones. I really find them to be very good for what they are doing. You have the opportunity to buy cheaper ones, but uh, keep in mind it, the formula is different and it can be very thick, so it can hide the details. Uh, so be a little wary when you are buying. Check it out on, on something you're not going to you know, ruin your minis with before you spray it on your minis. So just keep in mind, I, I would recommend uh, using Citadel, but uh, uh, but I haven't tried every brand out there. So I, I just recommend what I am used to and feel comfortable uh, recommending to others. So, all right, let's do the first thing first. So this is a rough bone, it's a contrast on the pen. And you can hear in inside this, it's why it's called a rattle can. You have a steel ball and you want to do this for about two, two minutes. You really want to um, mix up the, the pigments, the paint, uh, the medium, the stuff that makes the pen, paint uh, kind of flow better and the repellent, uh, the gas that makes the thing come out of the nozzle. So you want to mix it very, very much before you go. And this is have a, when you have a, a new box, you have to, uh, you know, shake it a lot before you get this sound. And this sound, you want that sound and you want it for about two, two uh, minutes and you want to shake it up very good. Uh, what you can do if it is cold outside, have this under tapping water, lukewarm, and because this is going to um, make the, the gas inside it uh, more um, aggressive. So when you are spraying, it's not going to just uh, not be too thick. You want the gas to be very like spray, very aggressive. And that's why you are also um, rattling the can. So I'm going to do that right now. And let's uh, go back and I'm going to show you what you are doing. Okay, so when you are doing the spraying, you have to do it 20 inch from the miniature. So you can see here, it's a quite a long way from the miniature for, for where you're spraying to where you want to hit because you don't want the nozzle to be very close because you're going to hit the miniature with a lot of paint. It's just going to blob up the whole thing. Uh, you want uh, actually some of the, the, the paint to be forming as a mist over the miniature so that uh, it will not disturb the, uh, the details of the miniature, if you know what I mean. So you want to have it 20 inches, so you have to keep that in mind. So when you are spraying, so keep the distance one box uh, from the miniature and, and you should be good. So one box from, from the miniature. And when you are spraying, uh, airbrushing or using a rattle uh, box keep in mind there are going to be a lot of uh, like, like pigments flying all over the place so you really really want it to be uh, you you really want it to be uh, in an area where you are not afraid of getting uh, paints all over the place because you wherever you are going to do this you're going to get um, overspray okay Let's open it up and let's start spraying. So I, I spray from under and off and keep in mind about a box away from the miniature. So straight here and like so and just do bursts. Do not hold in hold the nozzle inside and just try to hit everything and one from upside and okay that is one prime miniature and if you can see here let's see if i can get it on the camera can you see you can see the pigments flying around here so yeah you really want it to be uh, in an area you don't mind so now i'm going to let this dry i usually wait an hour i get this in a place where it's warm uh, you can use a a hair dryer to speed up the process so yeah that is how you do it all right patreons thank you andreas edison for sending me this question so if you are a patreon and have any questions or or you know suggestions on videos i am going to try to make videos for you guys this one was was, was <laughs> this one was for you andreas thank you so much 
and hopefully it's a useful video for everybody else as well. All right, so like, subscribe and tell a friend. See you in the next one, bye. So just to compare the to the, here you can see it how it is, gray not primed and this is primed. So when you're now starting to paint it, it will be very vibrant and nice colors for 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 the miniature you have painted. Hopefully, hopefully this is going to help you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Ah! <laughs> Run away! Oh! Ah!